Across India, just under half of the population living in rural areas lack proper access to clean water and adequate sanitation facilities. That's over 400 million people. To support better access, UN Ops joined hands with the government of Denmark, teaming up with India's Jal Jeevan Mission, a mission that aims to make clean water accessible to all rural households by 2024. UN Ops is supporting work in northern India, operating in 137 villages across Uttar Pradesh state, where consultants specialized in the field of water, sanitation and hygiene work with communities to identify needs and encourage people to participate in the process. The idea is to not simply um, you know, provide a pipeline with water to their households. This is more focused on service provision as well. And so therefore, it is important to make that process as uh, democratic as possible. Um, also for, you know, sustainability and longevity of the project. We need to ensure that people are participating. Women as a group are a major stakeholder in the conversation around water because they are essentially the managers of water at the household level. They're the ones who fetch it, they're the ones who use it, they're the ones who manage it. So without a conversation with them, uh, and without uh, you know, taking into account their opinions or their perspectives, schemes usually are bound to fail. In the village of Kalampur, a workshop is underway for members of the community to discuss the issues they face when it comes to managing water and sanitation. Manchitra jo waha dikhaya gaya tha, usme yehi dekhne ke mila jiske ghar mein saunchale nahi the, hand pump nahi the, makane nahi the, gali gali mein gande bah rahe the. Hamare gaon mein pehle nal nahi tha, nal ko hand pump se bharna jana padta tha, dur. To waha jane se samay jada lagta tha. Yaha jao bharo, fir le aao, tab usi ka waha se aao tab ghar ka kam karo. अब नल खुद के घर में ही लग गया है तो इसलिए टाइम बचता है ये ये सब कार्यक्रम महिलाएं के साथ जुड़ने से मुझे अच्छा लग रहा है हर एक चीज की सुविधाएं मिल रही है जैसे पानी है शौचालय है बाय बिल्डिंग लोकल कैपेसिटी द गोल इज टू इंश्योर कम्युनिटीज आर बेटर प्लेस टू मेंटेन एंड मैनेज द न्यू इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बट इट डजंट स्टॉप देयर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ वाटर कंजर्वेशन इज आल्सो वाइटल इंडिया इज um, one of the highest extractor of, uh, extractors of uh, groundwater today. And we rely on groundwater for most of our uses. 70% of the groundwater that we extract goes into agriculture. The thing is then that um, we've now come to a system where uh, we're not able to keep tabs on how much water we're extracting essentially because it's not visible to the eye. So in that sense, there there needs to be like a collective consciousness around uh, water use and uh, the program is designed in such a way uh, so as to enable the communities to be able to systematically manage water. Now when we have been talking with the community, we have also talked about climate change. So people have told us that the first time there was a lot of rain or the first time there was a lot of rain or the first time there was a lot of rain. So today there are a lot of rain that is a lot of rain. तो उस हालात में जो वाटर कंजर्वेशन हम लोग कर रहे हैं या प्लांटेशन वगैरह कर रहे हैं या जो हम छोटे छोटे पाउंड बनाएंगे और उसमें वाटर कंजर्वेशन होगा और जो किसान है किसान कैसे भूजल दोहन कर रहे हैं हम लोग कोशिश करेंगे कि वो जो कम पानी वाली फसलें हैं उसको प्रमोट करें उनको मोटिवेट करें ताकि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा भूजल दोहन न हो और जो ग्रे वाटर मैनेजमेंट पर भी अभी यूनोप्स की तरफ से हम लोग गवर्नमेंट के साथ लाइजनिंग करके जल निगम को उसमें इन्वॉल्व करके ग्रे वाटर का पानी कैसे कृषि कार्य में यूज हो उसका कुछ ट्रीटमेंट वगैरह जो अगर हो जाएगा तो हमारा भूजल दोहन जो ज्यादा से ज्यादा हो रहा है वहां पर हम काफी सफल होंगे एंड बाय कमिंग टुगेदर नाउ टू फाइंड सॉल्यूशंस फॉर इंप्रूविंग वाटर मैनेजमेंट विल हेल्प इंश्योर द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ क्लीन एंड सेफ वाटर नॉट ओनली फॉर पीपल टुडे बट फॉर जनरेशंस टू कम